Okay, right. Uh, Pre-show. That's what it is. I was like, why are we on camera already? No, I knew why we were on camera. I'm just fucking with you. What's up? Me, Craig X here, getting ready for episode 149 of Expert Joints Live. It's the pre-show. Hello, little pre-show graphic. Hello, little pre-show graphic. Yep, yep. Playback's working. Feedback loop's about to start. Here at Studio 710, as the sign says here, with several of my friends getting ready to start the show in a moment. No, I think that was just Todd in the video. Or is it that? Mm, stupid thing. Ah, very nice. As Andrew gets the rest of the buttons pressed and all worked out and then flips over the camera, we got a good show today. Um, calling this one uh, You're a Natural because the guys from TNB Naturals are here. Uh, Josh is in the place to be. My man, Queese Hamilton. Yeah, that's his head just jumping in the shot. He's the guy who made this cool piece that we showed off last week. He's here. There's most of the big puffer. You can see everything from the from the mouth down. He's just, there he, there he is. What's up, puffer? What's good? Chill, man. How you doing? Doing great. Nice. Glad to be here. Yeah, sir. You can take that out of the stand if you want. Is his lab on, Andrew, or? He has no laugh. He likes the handheld because he's a he's a rock star, dude. And uh, Quees, see you still on fucking crutches, bro. Oh yeah, it's gonna be another month or two. Yeah, it's dude, no good. Hurt his foot. Uh, also, over there, sitting quietly and patiently, we don't have the camera on him, but my man uh, Scotty Jones, my man Josh, uh, Scotty's got the track for dab time today. Yes, and Josh from TMB Naturals is gonna be here talking about all of his products. Um, which are sitting under the table, which we're going to show you off in a bit there. Um, also, yeah, come join us on the couch. So, yeah, so the reason behind the scenes with the behind the scenes show here and the, the pre-show is very simple. With the six different streams we have to start, we were running into a little bit of an issue with uh, getting them all started on time for a while. So we decided to start the pre-show. Plus, also gives us a chance to say what's up people in the chat. Hey, what's up, Shaggy420? What's going on? Two joints, I see you over Two there. Two joints, shout out. Detonator. Detonator. Tunes in for all the shows, right? Yeah. Two joints out. saying cheers, big puffa. Big shout out. Right? Some of my favorites, yeah. I'll, I'll ask you again on the show a little bit later, man, but how was your show on Tuesday, bro? It was actually really dope. We had uh, some really cool guests. Um, I seen one of the shirts. You have one of those loyal shirts in your office. Yeah, loyalty. Yeah, yeah, that chick. She came, uh, uh, Lindsay, Lindsay Lewis from the Hip Hop Elemental. She came by. Okay. Really cool. Came by with a few of her artists. That's and, dope. Uh, yeah. So we talked about their upcoming show on the twenty eighth. Hey, what's up, everybody in the Facebook chat? Oh, I got this up working this week, this week as well too. What's up? Uh, harder to see this one just because of the way I have to position the screen. You guys wouldn't understand completely, but. Um, dude, shit. what's going on? The, uh, always good time seeing people here. I appreciate everybody who comes in week after week after week, man. We get some loyal followers here. And of course, everybody who's watching over on the expertjoints.com page, on the Cannabis Life Network page, on the pot.tv page, on the Cannabis Culture Facebook page, the Cannabis Life Network Facebook page, the Expert Joints YouTube page, the Cannabis Life Network YouTube page, the Expert Joints Twitter page, and the Periscope page. And I still feel like I forgot one or two. Josh is hiding behind the camera there. Oh yes, all the, uh, all the different chats that we've got up here and the bud cam. What's going on everybody? We appreciate y'all joining in. I see Steven over there from Maryland's in the player. Enrique is here as well too from Brazil. Hey, shout out. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. Shout out. What's up, Evelyn? What's up, Ricardo? What's up, everybody? Russ, Christina, Mars, all, all these people man. tuning in. Shout out. Oh, man. The so chat is dope. I love right? seeing the chat. Yeah, man. It's hard to kind of watch all of the chat some of the times because of all the stuff that I have on the screen, but at least I have a big screen there. Remember when I used to have three different computers in front of me in season two and season one? Oh, man, that was a lot. The good old days, right? Right? When you had much less work to do. We're sharing that part of the job now. Yes, I do less and Andrew does more. It's great. We, we also got to give a shout out to the, to the uh, mysterious cameraman. Oh, the hand. The, hand. Yeah. the occasional hand that comes into shot. Give him a wave there, hand. Nope. 
No, you got to put it in front of the camera. There, there, almost. No, higher, lower. No, nah, da, da. Hi. Come on. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey. There we go. That's the wrist of champions right there. Um, definitely going to be a good show. Uh, we got more info on Quisa's cool little bell we got going on out here. We got information on TNB Naturals, which they make. Um, uh, Really fertilizer is not right the thing, but grow, growing additives. Uh, we're going to work on names for our little friend here. Hey. Um, got my new X letters all done out there, looking good butt. as well, too. Throw Buddy in the mix. Right? Yes, the so the butt. little green guy here. Um, this is this not Quest. This is Quis. Different. And this is by Kay Hamilton. Somebody was in the house. Is that, is that Quest the glass blower? Well, well, no. <laughs> this is this is Quis, yeah. <laughs> the glass blower. Uh, spelled similarly, but not at all the same. There's a K and a W. <laughs> uh, Scotty's sitting over there silently. What's going on, brother? I'm just chilling, man. Smoking. Smoking weed. Of course. Hanging out. Yeah. Appreciate you coming through, dude. Of course. Uh, as you guys know, for Dab Time, what we've got going on here in season four, we're playing the the music to accompany it that our man Puffa selects. And uh, he's hanging out with us today. No, no live performance, but he's gonna kick it with us and tell us all about his uh, his about the song and uh, some upcoming uh, projects that he has. And you know, you know, shameless self promotion. That's what we're all about here. No, <laughs> we're actually all about just documenting our experiences for you to enjoy and providing you with the information as to what we're doing for you to then, from your own self, be able to make up your decisions on what information you would also like to acquire. Yes, Candace Smurf, it is such a heady piece. And this heady piece here is usually $650, but if you want to buy it through the show, we've got a special on for you. So you'll be DM me or email me. We're going to talk about that at the start of the show here. Ooh, yikes, in 10 minutes, Andrew, 409. Yes, we started at 419, really, because we got a, uh, we got a minute and four second intro to run. Hmm. <laughs> right? So, oh man. Uh, right? And then the catchphrase. I got a few of them, man. But that's the one of them. I like the light them if you got them, though. That one's a good one. Yeah. Light them if you got them. That's like a hard bar. You know? Right? Alright. You good? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Of course, Parker's here as well, too. Uh, for those who already know, it was Parker's birthday on Tuesday. Happy belated. Thank you very much from him to everyone. He's around here somewhere. There he is, chilling. He's not on his mark yet because it's not showtime, I guess. Parker, Parker what's Uncle Todd doing? Show Parker. Whoa, the Parker camp. <laughs> right? He's what? 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 what huh? What? Is hey, my time already? Okay. Hello. Yeah, go see Uncle Queese, buddy. He wants to give you scratches. There you go. He got a haircut yesterday, and a oh. million toys on Tuesday. It was good. <laughs> there you go. That's the, that's the little man came. Yeah, it was his fifth birthday, October 23rd there. So then the next anniversary is the anniversary of his adoption, a.k.a. his adoptiversary. Oh, <laughs> Isn't that right, Futur? <laughs> I, uh, uh, I wasn't uh, chewing my foot. Uh, yes, I was. Get the camera. Parker, <laughs> everybody can see you doing that. You're chewing your foot for the world. Andrew! Get, don't, oh, but... <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, so he had his uh, feet and obviously all his hair cut yesterday, so probably this little stubble between the toes makes him, always makes him a little extra edgy. Um, yes, can of Smurf. So anyway, if you're interested in this piece, we're going to be trying to sell it through the show. If, uh, if you're interested in any of the products that you see on the show, there's obviously the credits after along the way where you'll be able to follow that. And in the meantime, if you want any information on these guys before we get started, on camera here, to my right, you would look up K. Hamilton Glass is where you would find him. And then this gentleman next to him, Cody, Scotty Jones, would be It's Scotty J as well, too. Behind him, my man, The Big Puffa, a.k.a. Lord Geezy on Instagram. He's also got the Puffa Podcast account as well, too. And hiding off camera, not on scene yet, behind the TV is my man, Josh, from TNB Naturals. And there's an underscore underneath between those as well, too. And then they have the other one that doesn't have that. Um, they've also got the TNBNaturals.com as well, too, I believe. So that's how you get more information on the people. At, I'm Craig X. 
and expert joints everywhere. And the foot chewer down there is a dog named Parker. <laughs> uh, products on the show this week from Weeds Glass and Gifts, Weeds GG underscore CA. Also, Modican. Who can? You can. Modican. Hey. And um, also, oh, products by SEC as well, too. Oof. That's a lot of stone. <laughs> That's a lot of edibles right over here as well, too. Uh, anybody hungry? Anybody want some gummies? That's more than These products by gummy. SEC are yeah. delicious. There it is. So we're going to be checking out some more of those for the show, too, as well. Always things going on here. Um, but what I am happy about is that it takes now less time than it did before to start all these. So maybe next week we can start the pre-show at 4.10 because we, we've obviously been good this week, Andrew. I just, I, I hate to get cocky with it. Oh, we don't even need a pre-show. We can do it in five minutes. You would never be cocky. Uh, I know because I, it's not me I'm worried about. Did you press record yet this week, fuck? Don't. We don't, we don't press it until the show starts. Perfect. We don't record any of this crap. No one wants to see this shit. <laughs> Remember, people are seeing it. <laughs> Yikes. Don't nobody look. Also, also on the show, big announcement at the end of the show. Coming up for next week's guest. It's episode 150 next week. Not to fuck off this show. I mean, it's a significant show, and I'm glad I've got everybody who's here who's here. But it's episode 150 next week. God damn. Big one, five, one. So I got a pretty cool guest lined up. We're going to tell you at the end of the show. And then there's something pretty cool happening after the show as well, too. If you're in and around the Vancouver area, you will find that highly entertaining. But you can't get to 150 without first. Doing 149, Doing 14, which is going to kick off here in about seven minutes. So <coughs> if anybody... <coughs> is over there watching us on the POT TV YouTube channel. Uh, of course, the link on there as well is uh, <coughs> to the Expert Joints YouTube channel. That's where like my official, official chat is because sometimes I can only <coughs> monitor one. Um, and we are thinking actually two joints. There is the possibility of doing a post show one of these days as well too. It's just that Mrs. Andrew <laughs> wants Mr. Andrew home at some point as well. So... He went, uh, when you said. He went, what, what, huh? We're doing what now? No, I'm not doing that. This is all news to me, but that's okay. I'm down. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, no, I got a couple ideas for, for a post show as well, too. Also, some new content, some new shows we're working on. We shot some really cool shit with Puffa the other day. Um, we shot some shit for the folks in Japan the other day. What else we got? Oh, um, and Cody Van Gogh was in here as well, too, doing some shit. That guy's cool. Um, many more things to come. New content always coming. A few more little updates and videos coming for the show here. Uh, we're going to have some live music coming up in the next couple episodes as well, too. Man, Man, so much to see and do. Cody's doobies are crazy. Right? Yeah, I have a cat, like just like a regular generic cat made by him. But after I heard that he could roll a cat, I was like, yo, could you roll, roll my a cat? cat? Like, I'll send you a picture of my cat. Roll my cat. Did he? And he did. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, it's so crazy. Dope. It's on point, too. Like, she's got, like, the whole gray tuxedo going on and, like, really big green eyes. She was even wearing her collar that she normally is, like, so, so cool and detailed. So my boy, uh, Neff, uh, shout out to Neff, been on the show a lot of times, people know him. He, uh, he, he had a song, uh, Deadpool, before the Deadpool movie came out. And uh, Cody, uh, Cody heard it, was like, that's dope, and rolled Neff at Deadpool. Nice. And this is like a couple years ago, which it, and Neff still has the Deadpool in a jar at the house, chilling. It's got the swords come out of its back and shit like that. They're individual, and he's got little holders for them. You can take them off. It's Yo, you should tell him uh, what I did with my joint, like the cat. I got my friend Chop. He's a, I think you can find him as like Chop1992 on Instagram. Does he lacquer shit? Yeah, he does resin. So mm. like he resined my cat joint. So mm. now it's like a That's little like, fucking cool. It's so cool. Uh, yeah. yeah, Cody ruled this uh, a dragon and um, and the rat king. And uh, yeah, Stay tuned. There'll be videos coming out pretty soon, man. Shout out to Cody. Uh, it's Roll with Cody Van Gogh on the Instagram as well, too. Um, shit, man. Other than that, we're just killing time at this point. I know this part of the show is boring. Ah, uh, we need Tim. Don't mask the truth. We do need Tim McBride. Yeah, where is Timmy? Uh, Timmy, for you guys who know, 
According to his Instagram, Timmy's somewhere in Colorado right now, I think. Um, last time, <laughs> the last time I talked to him, his plan was Colorado and California and here, I believe. So um, stay tuned. We might see him up here in the next few weeks or something. I had heard at one point he might make it somewhere end of October, early November, and it's already end of October. And he ain't here today, unless he comes walking in in a second. Uh, don't mask the truth. We will show off the glass piece a little bit more as the show starts as well, too. Uh, we'll give you the whole description and rundown of it, save it for that. But one of your only full color pieces, yes. Yeah. It's dope, man. Really cool. It's yeah. super rare for me to make a full color piece. There. Right. I really like to be able to see my function. So it's very, very like infrequent that you'll see a piece that you can't see the function on. And this isn't one piece, it's nine pieces coming together to make one piece, too. Mm. Oh man, so dope. Todrick, are you trying to? And I appreciate, so yeah, the idea with it here is just like an extra little feature on the show to be able to, you know, not only put some shit on the shelf, but to highlight some of the local talent around here and show off more about BC. Um, you know, and it's not all just about flowers and joints and shit. Plus, if it turns out to be a segment that you guys kind of like and somebody actually steps up and buys it, then I'm gonna kind of put more of them on and run it through. I think it'd be super cool. I eventually want to have an episode where we have a glass blower out on the patio um, blow a piece for here that we sell on the show. And the only way you can buy it is through the show. That'll come eventually as well too. <laughs> so check my man, Queese Hamilton, for more. I appreciate you doing that. Scotty, you all set, man? Of course. Thank you for letting us use the track. Uh, the track will be too faded. That'll be coming up in a bit here as well too. Puffa, you all set? Yeah, I'm flying right now. Right? I'm doing all them dabs over there. Josh, I know, is itching, ready to go. He's sitting in the back, sounding like, who's Josh? We don't know Josh yet. <laughs> well, in a second, you're going to see a Josh. So um, we appreciate it. Parker, just sitting there waiting for his moment. He's like, just come on into the show. Check back with me in about an hour. <laughs> um, with that, yes, thank you for watching the pre-show. So now it is 419. So Andrew, if you would, please hit the intro and let's start the show. That's the back of my head, now it's the front of my head. What's going on, y'all? 420, it is here on the West Coast. Light them if you got them. Uh, if it was your 420 already, or if it isn't for your 420 yet, either A, have another, or have a warm-up. Anyway, in the, uh, we do appreciate you tuning in here for episode 149. Starting to add up a little bit. I mean, it's nothing on like sub cool. He's in the 300s and shit. I know Bubble Man's got more than that, and I can't even count how many Jair's done or Greg Marijuana Man Williams has done, but Episode 149 here this week. Doing it, doing it. And excuse me, my ears are bugging me a little bit today, so if you see the popping thing, um, it's not too much cocaine. Let's clear that right away. Uh, and fuck anybody who thinks that. Come say that to my face. Um, I'm on my sixth ENT now. You should not believe the amount of fucking sprays and pills and all the shit I take, and none of it is helping. No one knows what to do after many medical procedures or not, so it's super frustrating and super distracting and very uncomfortable. So if you see a little bit of that today, I apologize. Also on the show today, you'll see, well, this is joint 37. <laughs> and many more, of course, as well to come, and some guests and some entertainment, and uh, it should be a good show. Of course, you know, 
I'm just a fancy blogger documenting my experiences in life, providing information as to support what I am doing to give you your choices to do whatever you want to do. Uh, since we spoke last, episode 16 of Fridays went down last Friday because you tune into Fridays at 2 on Fridays on SaveOnRadio.com where I had the one and only Jamie Shaw, cannabis expert. Well, cannabis dispensary court certified expert. That's our girl. She was on the show, so that was really good. If you want to check the replay after this, you can go on over to the expertjoints.com page and go to the slash Fridays, and that'll pop that up there. Um, also, it was, uh, it was uh, Parker's birthday as well, too. Um, Tuesday was Parker's birthday, and so that was pretty cool. We uh, got to wish the little birthday, uh, happy birthday wishes to the little man there. He turned five, uh, destroyed about four toys, uh, several balls, ate some steak, gained a pound or two, uh, but he actually had a really good time. So thank you for everybody who... Um, who, who supported my little man there doing his thing. Um, and yeah, I can't believe that. Wow, five years. Uh, anyway, uh, also, whew, he's getting old. Um, also, the, uh, today is the last day, I think. Tomorrow, the voting closes for those Canadian Cannabis Awards, you know, run by Lyft, which, you know, I know, especially Freddie and a lot of other people aren't a big fan of. And let's be truthful, I'm not really a fan of Lyft either. We all know that. Um, but, this is one of those, or those uh, publicly nominated situations open to everybody, so I have to respect the people who took their time, especially those people who don't even like that organization and the stuff, some of the shit they represent or work with most, really. Um, to go ahead and vote for myself as Cannabis Influencer of the Year, along with BC Budgel, and then also to nominate this show again for the second year in a row for the top podcast of the year. So if you want to go in there, that's your choice. It'd be cool. Um, if not, that's fine too. But go vote for myself, Craig X, or uh, Expert Joints Live as the top podcast and influencer. And we'll see if we happen to win. Oh, GML's in the chat. What's going on, brother? We'll see him or something like him on the show at some point, one of these days as well too. Um, yeah, if I win, we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, that's all caught up. So let's move forward here now. Uh, on the show this week, my man Josh from TNB Naturals is here. Uh, a bunch of people in the chat are here, of course, as well, too. I see Medically Fit down there, Carrie Cush over there. Uh, oh, TNB Naturals, wait, you're in the chat and you're here. Oh my God, how confusing. Um, <laughs> I also see Jonathan Avelia, Ezekiel Pan oh, Panasco, uh, a few other people whose names who I can't pronounce either. Nico, Dane, John, what's going on over there on Facebook? And of course, on the expert joints chat, Eric Bryant, Two Joints, Isabel S, Cannabis411, all these people over there join us. Ryan J, appreciate all you guys, Detonator, everyone being in the place to be. Week after week after week. <clears throat> and this is the second week from my little friend here that I got from my friends over at Weeds. This is a, he's a rock star, she's a rock star. Um, she should probably get watered tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, this is a little new studio plant. Just kicking it here. Stunt plant purposes only. It might also be a fake. It might also be real. I cannot confirm or deny. Allegedly, though, it smells good. Um, and allegedly, that's real dirt. But we are a very thorough production facility, so you never know. But I could have three more of them, theoretically. Um, anyway, it needs a name. So, uh, suggestions, preferably from the old uh, Expert Joints YouTube chat would be very helpful. If anybody's got some suggestions for a name for our new friend here on the show, please go ahead and offer some up. We'll see if we can scroll back through a little bit and pick some of the best ones. Um, call, the plant, we, call the plant weed sex, the jars, and name the, um, well, it's going to need something. Uh, it probably will need some love. It's been sitting in a studio that has lights on and off only a few hours a day. and it's, it's a stunt plant for filming purposes only, if it's not an artificial plant for filming Just purposes only. Sorry? Knuckles gave it some water. Oh, yes, yeah, right. Show some knuckles. Um, all right, anyway, speaking of friends, you guys help us with that. One of my other friends in the put aphid magnet. That's a good name. Um, <laughs> it's actually a really pretty good name. Can of Smurf over there with a suggestion. Mrs. X, I like that as well too. Um, one of our other friends, Queese Hamilton, you know, 
the guy responsible for this little gal, guy, gal piece thing here. Um, this one, yeah, that one. There, well, that's a way better shot. We should just flash that instead. Um, he's here in the place to be, back from episode 86 to now. What's going on, brother? Uh, I'm just chilling, really baked. Smoked a couple of joints before the show. Did a couple of dabs before the show. Yeah. Can do a couple more dabs on the show. Yeah. <laughs> Doing your thing. How's the foot? Uh, it's healing up. Still got like another month or so, maybe a month and a half to two if I uh, keep on walking on it. But my tendons are healing right now. So yeah. Sparkles over here took a little tumble down the stairs. Uh, little went prima ballerina styles and did a little pirouette down the stair. And, yeah. and you know, <laughs> you see people on crutches with a broken ankle for, you know, a couple months, six weeks, some shit. He's been on crutches since 2015. It seems like no, that's when, no, that's that's when you made this piece. This is the uh, this bell from 2015, uh, electric blueberry lemonade bell. Yeah, yeah. I've got the little description of it, but you wrote the description because you made the piece. So can you give us the rundown about the piece, man? Give us a little insider details. Uh, the piece is like inspired by. It's like part of my berries and juices series, and. Um, the Berries and Juices series is like pretty much my full color pieces. They're Hold it up like here so we can see it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's, um, it's one of those things that like when I enjoy something in life, it brings me a lot of inspiration. So the fruit and the berries and things that I eat throughout the whole summer are what inspired this, this series. And they're just meant to be like as functional as possible. Right. You know, I think that it's really important for the piece to function extremely well if you're going to use it every day. Well, which is why your pieces so. usually aren't full color so people can see the function, right? Exactly. Yeah, I've got another piece here with me, actually, that you can see the function. It's a little bit dirty, but... Yeah, it just means it works well. <laughs> um, well, yeah, man, that's a little bit more typical. You've got the clear and color combos, typically. Yeah. So one of your only color pieces, nine pieces in together with that. There's some Illuminati in there as well, too, and a bunch of other colors as well. Yeah, it's got some sweet wigwags, spirals, rewigs, and yeah, it's all in Colmo, it's called. Uh, how long did it take you to make something like that? This is about a three-day process to make. Like, the first two days are prep, usually, and then the second and the third day is um, assembly. Man, yeah. I mean, it, it, it explains the difference right there alone why, you know, these heady pieces, even if that's a small little piece, all the detail, all the time, there's a lot of hours into that. There's a lot of labor that goes into that, uh, let alone the materials as well, too. I mean, you know, I'm not saying glass is cheap, but, but you know, time is worth something to some degree. Mm -hmm. And uh, I appreciate the fact that you've gone ahead and given us the opportunity here to, to sell it to these people on the show to get Hell it out yeah. there to more people <laughs> if you want. Uh, it's regular $650 piece that we had up for $500 on the show this week, last week. So yeah. um, if, uh, if anybody out there, that's Canadian. So that's, and it'll come with a case too. And it'll um, come with a case. Yeah. Shit, okay. Yeah. That's pretty dope. Um, shit, if you go 500, we'll even deliver it to you, unless it's like Australia, because then that'll probably be a little bit more. But we can work that out. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, if anybody wants it, man, please DM me. Exactly, Candace Smurf says, pay for your art, people. Uh, if anybody wants it, go ahead and DM me on Instagram, on Twitter, send an email to info at expertjoints.com. Get out of you. First person to make that happen, we'll make that happen. And then I would love this to be something that people, you know, to get behind. We'll try some other pieces that are a little less money, some other pieces that are a little more money sometimes. And like I say, eventually I want to have a piece made specifically on the show to be sold on the show. So, um, uh, buy it, then use it on the show as our, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great piece, man. So you guys support my man over here. You're just going to hang out with us for the day, though, supporting us? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it, man. Well, you make sure you check out K Hamilton Glass over there on Instagram for more details on it. Uh, you have to follow him, though, so you can see his work. But it's yeah. really good. You do some amazing things. Plus, also, you're a Cheers. hell of an activist as well, too, in the can cannabis community and as well as the um, First Nations indigenous communities as well, too. I know you do a lot for that. Appreciate it, dude. Hey, man, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong, but I'll just do the generic. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, it's crazy the things that we've seen them put through and the other things I've seen you in the news for and shit like that. And that's a whole show in itself. But get the peace from the man, Queese. That's all I got to say about there. Uh, as I roll up some more weed right now, I'm smoking the, um, the El Jefe. That's what I'm smoking here. From the guys at Weeds, enjoying that Weeds glass and gift is the place that I, uh, I would recommend you visit for more information if you chose to do so. That website would be weeds.gg, or weedsgg.ca would be how you could get more information on who they are and what they do. Um, with that, there's also an Instagram account, I believe. If you put in that same sort of parameters, you would probably find more information, if you chose to look for it. 
Uh, also with us here uh, on more information on his dope products that I'm sure you will grow to love. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. With products on growing, and it's very appropriate now, seeing that we're all allowed to grow weed in the legal world. Uh, Josh from TMB Naturals, sitting in, waiting for me to finally get to him. Hey, brother, how's it going? Good, man. How you doing? Good, man. Good to see you. Thanks for finally coming. Hey, thanks for having me out, man. I know it's been uh, a couple years in the making, but really appreciate you getting me out here. Hey, no worries, dude. I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, you you hit me up at an event one time and say, hey, we want to come be on the show. And I was like, fuck yeah, come be on the show. And then, of course, you're not based in Vancouver, so that took a little bit. And sometimes my show availability is a little bit weird at times, but we finally made it happen. I also got to show you what's happening in the bud cam as well, too, here. I forgot to show that off here. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Whew. Mm -mm -mm -mm. El Jefe from the guys over there at uh, Weeds. Whew. Put that down back where it belongs here. So many things to juggle. All right. While I'm rolling this, I would like you to go ahead and, if you would please, for those people unfamiliar, can you, uh, can you tell us what TNB Naturals is? Absolutely. We're a, we're a manufacturer based out of Vernon, British Columbia. Okay. And uh, we manufacture a number of products now, but our, our main thing is they're all natural. They're all uh, really safe to use. You know, they're all things that we feel comfortable using ourselves and recommending to other people in the community. Um, we got started uh, with a, a CO2 generator that uh, my business partner, Travis, created. And we, uh, we kind of took it to market. He took it to market. He had about five, six stores off the hop. And that's when he got, got me involved. And now, uh, you know, we've, we've been able to bring it out to about uh, 25 countries right now. We've got 21 distributors across those 25 countries uh, pushing the products. Um, our goal is, you know, the goal is 200 countries, man. The goal is to be Coca-Cola. You know, huh. every, every country in the world, that's what we're trying to do. Um, we, re we stand behind the products. We know they work well, right? And we know, uh, we know that they can help a lot of people no matter where they're based. So, I mean, sh shit. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, your, your best known product is that, like you said, that CO2 enhancer, right? Right. You happen to have one here? I do, absolutely. Oh, hey, look at that. How convenient. Bing. There it is. So that is the enhancer right there. Now, I remember back when I may have or may not have, it could have been a dream as well, uh, grown cannabis previously. Yep. Um, and there was the little hack where you put some, you know, um, baking, baking soda and vinegar or whatever and some shit in a little plastic bottle and put it in your little, your little grow cabinet or whatever you had, your little small tent thing for a bit to release some extra CO2. This is obviously a little bit of a, of a more advanced product than that, um, but it's really simple to use, isn't it? It's just like just add water, isn't it? Yeah, it's super easy to use, man. It's something that was developed over you know the better part of a decade um, by by my partner there, Travis. And you know what it is is he designed it to be so easy and so simple, right? All it is is a liter of warm water. Screw the lid back on. Rip that little sticker off on the top here. Give the bottle, you know, cover the little hole. Give it a quick shake, and it sit it sits there and puts off, you know, over a thousand parts per million for about two, two and a half, three weeks. Really? Yeah. So, all right. So obviously, you know, plants absorb CO2, uh, and you know, you're talking to your plants for part of the reason for that. And I know they can clean up environment, like you know, uh, change the air and environments and stuff. But does adding CO2 make like a noticeable difference to your cannabis plants in the end? Yeah, or typically, it's, or? it's literally one of the single biggest things you can do to increase your final yield. Hmm. If, if you just look at basic photosynthesis, is water, light, and CO2, those three elements. So if you can increase, if you can increase the CO2 concentrations, you're gonna essentially increase not, or, not only the overall health of your plants, but also especially your final yield. So it's almost like, um like you know in i don't know mechanics or engines term like using like higher performance fuel or like adjusting your carburetor so it's letting in or whatever so be adjusting the air fuel ratio mixture this is like adding extra co2 to it as a as a boost exactly it's such a boost it's what plants breathe and people don't realize that plants breathe co2 they don't breathe oxygen like us right mm -hmm. so 
they don't breathe fresh air per se. They breathe CO2. So if you can give them more of that, it's essentially like putting an oxygen mask on a human being. You're going to perform better. You're going to feel better. That's dope. The nice thing is they can take a little bit more food. They can take a little bit more heat. They can, right. you know what I mean? You can give them a little bit more water. They can handle a little bit, and a little bit a, of the harsher elements. And it's also like an easy way to boost your final yield without having to spray them or put fertilizers in your dirt that you have to remove again later, right? You don't need to flushing out CO2. You don't flush oxygen out of things. No, exactly. It's a, it's a gas. So That's you're, very cool. yeah, you just, the plants, you just put it out in the atmosphere and the plants little take, they li literally take it in uh, from the underside of their leaves. Uh, there's little pores called, the, they're called the stomata and they take, breathe it in like that. And the effects are just unreal, man. You, if you, if you look at the studies and it's not just, just us making these claims, uh, there's people out there that will say, you know, an increase of 30, 40, even 50% if things are absolutely in ideal. the right conditions. You know, if you absolutely have oh. everything dialed in and add CO2, it's, people overlook it, man. They, they, they really overlook it, but we just encourage them to, you know, after they purchase the light, literally the next investment should be CO2. CO2. Before anything else. Yeah, really. Well, I mean, because that's a really basic, easy way to get, I mean, if you just add water and put that bottle in your room, it can't get a whole lot simpler than that, really. No, I mean, depending on the size of the room, uh, it's a shake, either one every first or second or third day, or sorry, not every first, every day or other day kind of thing. Uh, but other than that, it's just it's just super easy, man. That's that's literally just a, li a liter of warm water to activate it that first time. That's handy. And then uh, you know just a, li a quick shake every day or every second day, and that's it. Uh, but now too much CO2 for people can be bad. But uh, I guess that's not going to put off so much in a room or in a space that it would be harmful to people would it all or? no i mean don't we don't recommend going to sleep in your room yeah. you know what i mean don't let your pets sleep in your room kind of thing but uh the plants are taking in the vast majority of this okay. this is what they breathe right so it's it's you know it's it's relatively safe other, as long as you're not using it incorrectly or, or a bunch of them in a very small area yeah you'd really have ventilated or whatever yeah but. even then like you okay. know, the, the plants are going to take the majority of it. Cool. Uh, well, that's safe. I actually thought I saw on your website as well, too, something about you had like a little monitor or some little, I know you've got a bunch of different products over there, um, including uh, uh, something called the, what is it? The, um, the uh, no, it's not the enhancer, uh, the enricher. What's the that? Enricher. Thing? Yeah, the enricher is uh, another product that we brought out. Uh, it's an all natural plant booster. So this is just something different. You know, we kind of got into the game with our CO2 generator, we're able to really get a lot of a lot of traction with that. People like the simplicity of it and the, and the ease of use and and the results, obviously. And then we kind of followed it up with uh, this. This was something that we had in the works for a while too, and uh, it's it's cool. It's just a booster. It's added once every two weeks. Um, once every two weeks, just when you're watering, uh, not when you're feeding, and it works really well, man. Oh shit! Here we go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, it's pretty powerful stuff, so just once every two weeks, and what it'll do, it just adds a wicked boost. It'll green everything up, it'll fix any yellowing in the leaves, it'll, it really helps with the, uh, any leaf curl that you might be experiencing. No and harsh, toxic chemicals? No, once again, all natural. Our whole line is just like safe, easy to use stuff. This, you just mix a little bit in with your water, feed it directly to the plants, it dissolves, you know, basically <laughs> instantly. And, you know, some of the best feedback that we've received is it really helps with resin production and it, the overall like terpene production so it increases the smells and the flavors and whatnot. Well let's so, face it, all these extractors and stuff want uh, lots of resin and everybody who wants good taste, especially Carly Marley, which you can check out Mondays, loves those terps. Yeah. Loves the terps, bro. Um, and, and then you said add to the water. Now there's another product you have for the water too. There's like a pH product you have, isn't there as well too? Yeah, so we just dropped this new uh, pH up and down. Hmm. Once again, all natural super easy to use it's granular so we're not you know it's there's no water uh, you only need a little bit it's really powerful stuff there's no fillers there's no dyes there's no colors there's no garbage it's just so that's quite a bit of that's quite a bit this of usage will, there oh if you're just if you're doing something small this will last you a long time okay yeah oh yeah this for for you know what guys who just have a little four plants you know even 10 plants 20 plants this will this will keep you going uh man i think that's really good you've uh 
you touched on that. There's a lot of people now, except for in Manitoba and Quebec, who uh, who are going to be, um, well, maybe growing four plants in theory. And really, a lot of people are going to have limited space. And depending on, like, um, well, I mean, how many people are in their place, how many lights, they, they're obviously looking for different yields. And for some people who don't, who don't smoke a whole lot, you know, your four plants will probably last you until your next grow, no problem. But when you get into those people who are like multiple people and kind of heavy consumers, you want to max out every possible square inch you can with every little trick you can that isn't going to be either hard to remove or ruin the product in the end, right? Yeah, man, and this is just an easy way to do that. Um, you know, we've, we've just always had the whole idea that it's got to be really easy for people to use, it's got to be safe, and it's got to work. So that's what our whole line is based off, is really easy, simple, like simple stuff, but w people are crushing it with, with TMB all over the world, man, like 25 countries and counting. You know what I mean? Awesome. So we're, it's, it's uh, only on, upwards and onwards from here, man. Uh, and these are, this is obviously like portion sizes, if you will, for like the personal sort of grower or the smaller grower, I guess. Uh, do you, do you, do they work on the larger scale or the mass scale or, or do you have them available for those people as well too, if they want to use that? Most definitely. So with the, uh, with the enhancer, like our flagship product, the CO2 product, what we what we've seen is people just stacking them. They'll use two or three or four. We've got we've got people using six, ten bottles, man. It's you know what I mean. They're just like this is way easier than doing the, the traditionally with like a right. big tank and a burner. And now you have all that excess heat and that extra right. cost. And some people yeah, open flame in your room. Like what? It's just if you're on, on the smaller scale or or if you're on the bigger scale, it's kind of some people don't want to go that way, yeah, right? Exactly. So. Get a, get, a, get a bunch of bottles and light them off and uh, give them a shake every day and you're good to go. I guess the bottles wouldn't work out outside that well, but the, the other products I suppose would. And so in a greenhouse to some degree, yeah, too? Yeah, the bottles for sure. It's got a, it's, you know, indoor, enclosed. <laughs> yeah. It can't be really. I mean, we have had people who say I've put one under one single plant outside and yet, you know what I mean? But mm. uh, it's more of an indoor thing, whereas the, the pH up and down, obviously it's more versatile indoor, outdoor, the enricher, indoor, outdoor. Man, uh, and of course the tnbnaturals.com website Andrew had up there for, for you guys to take a look at. Can you order products from there? Yeah, you can order off our website tnbnaturals.com um, or you can you know hit up pretty much uh, throw a bunch of distributors US. you've got. Yeah, we're in. Yeah, it's getting it's getting really good, man. It started out with uh, just a, a few local distributors, and uh, that now it's just boomed into, you know what I mean, pretty much. Globally at this at this point, um, Love it, and man. we're just trying to trying to push it all the time, man. We got a number of another number of distributors that are close, man. We're we're you know just we're getting there. It's been some have been a couple years in the works, you know others right. have been a couple months in the works, but we're uh, we're looking to hit 30 here pretty quick. Well, rather than list off all 30 of those or 28 of those in a row right now, go check over the website over there. They'll have the list of all the distributors as well, too. And while you're checking out things online, TNB underscore naturals is the website to go to. Go check them out. Go tell them Craig X sent you, and they'll say, who? Uh, but uh, other question is, like, yeah, what comes next for you guys? Oh, next up, man, we have... Uh we got. We need to update the website. We got to get all every single one of our distributors on there because right. I don't know if they're all on there. But right. uh, huge shout out to all the distributors, man, selling our stuff. Yep. Shout out to all the stores who are pushing our stuff. All the people that have helped us out throw the way for sure. Um, next up, man, we're off to. Uh, let's see. We're off to Prague here next week. We're going to Canafest out there. We're kind of. We're we're going to be in talks with uh, a number of new European uh, distributors and stuff, man. Mm -hmm. And, well, that's cool, man. So if you're in Prague, if you're in Czechoslovakia, you can go out and see Josh and be like, hey, I saw you on Expert Joints Live. And he'll be like, oh, yeah, I was really high. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, that's dope, man. Uh, what I also think is cool is you're going to like leave these behind, and they're going to work my way into some of the Puff Puff Pass and Long Packs as well, too. Yes, we'd be more than happy to, man. That's hey, great. That is dope, man. I appreciate you doing that, man. They are definitely uh, well put together looking products. I, I've seen some of the videos. I've seen some of... I haven't seen them in use, but if you want to try them, man, for your own personal bro that's now legal, if you follow certain rules and happen to be lucky enough to live in a place where you can do it, um, check them out.
try these, this will help. I like the idea of being able to max out every possible way I can do it, and I love the idea of being able to do it without having to add a whole bunch of harsh shit to it that, you, that it's harder to flush out later. And if it's something that it can just absorb into gas, I mean, like you say, put an oxygen mask on, that's simple, man. Mm -hmm. uh, refill's available too, so you don't have to buy the bottle all the time. But um, also, uh, I don't know about you guys, <clears throat> But I could use a little something to nibble on. We got a break coming up here. Um, Quiz, you like uh, you like edibles at all, brother? Yeah. You like these you like these products by Sec edibles over here? I've actually never tried one. Oh, uh, what kind of milligram range guy are you? Are you like a four hundred, a one fifty, a fifty, a, a seventy five er? Are you one of those two hundreds, eight hundreds? One fifty would be awesome. You're a, you're one hundred and fifty milligram kind of guy. Well, just like that, man. I got you. There's, there's a 250 milligram ones in there, so one for now, one for later. If you don't like that, I also have these, uh, oh, these, oh, there's so many of them here. Um, I'm going to have one of these Strawberry Fields CBD. Um, they're new. I'm going to have one of those gummies as well, too. Are you into gummies at all there, uh, uh, Josh? Yeah? Yeah? Perfect. Uh, high dose, low dose, what do you like? Uh, medium. All right. Maybe like 150, 200. 300, here you go. Well, here's two 100s yeah, then. Tight. And you grab one of the. I love it, man. Thanks, Thanks these folks from Products by Sec for making such high quality products that I managed to locate somehow. <laughs> anyway, for more information, I've seen that they have an Instagram account that would be Products by SEC Sec. Uh, that would be that. Those are also the ones that Jeff Lundstrom referred to as just the absolute killers. They make it 800 from what I've heard as well. Mm. But anyway, while I nibble on these, let's take a short break because no one wants to watch me true. Chew, would you, Andrew? Expert Joints is back with an all new feature for your enjoyment. It's time for our top tips and tricks. So here's a whole whack of weed wisdom to marinate on. First up is how to glue a paper. Cutting and taping papers together is time consuming and difficult. Plus, it also adds excess materials. A better way is gluing the tops of two papers together. Then, grab another paper and fold it in half with the glue side out. Wet the glue strip, line up with the seams, and press to pull a little glue off. Then, quickly remove the paper and press close. Repeat on the other side, and you're all set. Next up, the hash pencil lead. If you've smoked enough hash, Chances are an ember has fallen out of your joint and burned a hole in your favorite shirt. This happens when the hash hasn't been broken up finely enough, as it burns slower than weed. So, avoid this by rolling out your hash instead. First, shape with your fingers, then roll out on a hard surface with a card, and insert it in the middle of your joint like a pencil lid. Top with weed and roll like normal. It helps ensure even hash distribution throughout the joint and to keep it where it all belongs. They don't call it sticky icky for nothing. Fingers, scissors, and grinders can become highly coated and hard to work with. For that, the best thing you can use is 99% isopropyl alcohol. A little on your hands, a paper towel, or cotton swab will clean up most any sticky surface. If your grinder is caked, scrape and brush it out, then let it soak in ISO a while to loosen up the gunk. After that, wipe away any excess, then rinse and dry. It'll be back to busting buds like new in no time. Bags and pockets can be harder than your J's, so get a case, and or a dube tube, or two, and protect your precious pot from damage. Many will not only help prevent a bent joint, but are also smell and waterproof for extra protection. Finally, rolling machines. Right, so, um, they suck. Just watch our dope how-to videos or contact us for expert assistance and you'll be smoking well put together weed in no time. See, there's always so much to learn. British Columbia, home to the most beautiful landscapes in the world. Home to mom and pop vineyards, hot springs, farmers markets, some of the world's best skiing, snowboarding, surfing and mountain biking. We protect our rainforests and keep our air clean. In BC, we strike the right balance between nature and nurture. But did you know that for the last 30 years, BC has also been home to the finest cannabis in the world? BC Bud is world renowned for its taste, aroma, and potency. We've competed and won cups, gained recognition from international celebrities. We are the cannabis growers of Canada. We create wealth, opportunity, and good paying private sector jobs. 
The BC cannabis crop is worth over $7 billion a year, and there were over 17,000 farms creating work for Canadians and improving the lives of millions of people. We are joining together to build a free and fair cannabis market that benefits all Canadians. Won't you come and join us at cannagrowers.ca? Puff is here because it's dab time. What's going on, boss? Yeah, what's up, man? How you doing? Chilling, man. We're going to be doing real well. We got some products from the fine at folks at Modacan Compassion Society. Who can? You can? Modacan. That's the word, <laughs> man. Uh, the guys at Backcountry Labs made sent over some of this uh, Master Kush Shatter and some Cotton Candy FSE. I think over on the table, some stuff from the fine folks at uh, Fraser Valley Collective. Uh, Many a products available over at the ModicanCompassionSociety.com website from what I have allegedly heard. Allegedly. Yeah. Um, you, of course, didn't allegedly. You actually had a good show on Tuesday. What's going on? We did. Uh, we had the folks from the Vancouver Hip Hop Elemental stop by. Um, we we'll just talk about their Halloween show on the 28th. And we smoked a lot of weed, did some dabs. It was a good time. Shit, man. Check the replay of that coming up soon. Oh, oh. Pot uh, TV. Oh, what did we just hear? Did we hear the little snippet of what's little, coming up here? The track coming up here? Just a little snippet of the track that we got coming up here. Oops. Andrew with the oops. But, well, tell him, uh, tell him what the song is and who it's by. Ah, okay. Well, the song is called Too Faded. Mm -hmm. And it's by Scotty Jones featuring A. Sneed. Hey, and that's... Speaking that, of which... And that's my man right there, Scotty Jones, man. What's yeah. going on, Doc? Good to see you. Man. I'm just good, bro. See. Thank you for coming through, man. Appreciate it. Of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, so the track Too Faded seems kind of appropriate. That's why we picked yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, I assume it's about weed. Yeah, it's about a mixture of everything. So how did the track come mostly. about then? Um, I've known his sister for a while. And like, I knew him for a while, too, but we never was on like a music base. Mm. And then one day I was like, hey, man, let's go to the studio. Right. And ended up going in the studio. He's like, this beat right here, you'll sound good on. And then the rest is history. And that was it, man. Right. Uh, so it's the new track, man. Of course, you can hear it on Spotify? Yeah, Spotify. Okay, so I'll go uh, ahead. Down in the link at the bottom of the YouTube down there is the uh, link to my man's uh, Instagram page. But I'll go ahead and find the uh, Spotify page and put that up in there after as well, too. Um, uh, video or anything like that coming? Or? Yeah, we got actually some, <coughs> we're just brainstorming right now a bunch of stuff for the video. A bunch of like locations, what, what kind of feeling, you know? <laughs> you, I think you found one of the locations, man. <laughs> yeah, it's kind yeah. of faded up in here. Yeah. Uh, man, well that's awesome. Uh, can you tell them like the concept of the track or whatever? Concept really is just like, just laid back, like just chilling, smoking, having a good time, you know, just... Too faded. Too Dude, faded, It's getting man. too faded. Well, we're pretty faded up in here. Let's of see if course, we can get too course. faded. I have some of this cotton candy FSE. Uh, uh, Puffa, you want to try some of this uh, Master Master Kush Sure. Okay, you get it in over there. Quees, I see you lighting the joint. It's dab time, but I know you like to dab and joint at the same time, from what I think. Um, uh, and I don't know if you're a dab guy down there, uh, Josh, but they got a rig, we got a rig, and he's got a track, so... Um, if they're hot and ready on your end, Andrew, play the music, man. Let's, uh, shall we say, dabs up? This is dab time. I just stepped off the plane now, D boy. I'm dressing plain Jane now. I can't fuck with the same style. I got more money, so I can't complain now. Up yourself, guys. There's dabs down there, man. There's dab time. So, go, go to it. This is the second floor. Not that you can't dab all short. I'm just gonna dip over here for a second. Yeah, just while that other ring goes up. That's why I have so many rings around the screen. So, that email over there on the dab bar, it has like a pause button. You turn it on, but it doesn't have to go on. I'm just a D boy with some auto tune. Yeah, game hot like the desert of doom. I take a heavy loss and may I bounce back and you listen. I'm on 
the mission, the politician. I scooped your mistress with the quickness and acquisition. How come you always ask, but you never listen? I told you was now I gotta give you the bitch. You sound good. I mean, not that I'm surprised. I'm strong in my eyes, low. I'm riding dirty, so I rise, low. My money long and I'm my blow. here during dab time. Ooh. The, tra the track, Too Faded by my man Scotty Jones. <laughs> thank you Fire. for the uh, <laughs> thank you for the track, man. I can't Fire. wait for the video to come out. Oh yeah, let's put it on the cam. I forgot all about the, the dab cam. <coughs> Trade you. Alright. Uh, Scotty can go. Alright. You're all. Alright, and then let's blow this up. Boom. <laughs> hey now. Whoa. That's the pineapple. Damn, that looks ridiculous. Right? That's nuts. Oh, oh, man. I love it, I love it, I love it, dude. Well, shit. That's mm. almost as fire as that song was, brother. Mm. I appreciate you coming through. <laughs> give that a dab if you want. Uh, give this man a follow over there at It's Scotty J over there on Instagram. Do it. I-T-S Scotty J. Real simple to find. Real simple. Uh, Real simple. Projects coming out, shows, anything else. What's, what's the update on you, Doc? Right now, I gotta, I'm working on my debut tape, Sincerely Scotty Volume 1. I got a couple tracks done for that right now, but my most recent thing going on is uh, I got a show opening up for uh, Jaron Benton. Oh, word. On November 10th in uh, Surrey. Okay. If you're in Surrey, anywhere in Lower Mainland, go check him out November 10th. Yeah, November 10th at the Blackbird Hall in Surrey, Flamingo. Uh, and then, of course, online, and when do you, when do you expect the project to come out? Hopefully before 2019, but if not, then on my birthday, uh, February 14th. I like that. Oh, Valentine's Day. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Uh, it's the same day as my parents' anniversary. Um, and then the video. You, you said there's a video coming together for Two Faded. So yeah, right now it's just in like the, the brainstorming process. Okay. We're just getting together all the ideas, like the just the, the simple things right now. Who to even shoot it? Like, right. if we want to go big budget, if we want to just keep it a like simple video. But like right now, I really I'm trying to. It's like a big budget, like production, like kind of like a like a movie type thing. Make it well put together. Make it well put sure. together, you know. I love put it. Together. I love it. I love it. Well, these dabs were put together. The segments were put together. The track was well put together, man. I do appreciate that, man. So check him out on Instagram. Also, Lord Geezy over here hey, on Instagram yeah, as well too. Check it out. Check it out. Tuesday is on Pot TV as well too with Big Lock doing it for the Puffer Podcast. Uh, four o'clock. Four o'clock every Tuesday. You know what it is. Uh, special guest, you got to tune in to find out because he never tells us the day before. Um, wait, nope. this week? Nope. Actually? No. Nah. Just tune in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, man. Well, you know, that's how he rolls, man, and this is how we roll. Well, now I want to find out how Queez rolls during how I roll.
here is the, whoa, whoa, that's a lot on my face. Jeez, back up there, big guy. Whoa, no one needs to see that much. Um, um, <laughs> nice, yeah. Yeah, I was liking that. That was good. No, seriously, you can still zoom that fucking thing out. That makes me uncomfortable. Um, during this segment, anyway, the jam with how I roll is is during my... I do most of the rolling on the show, usually. This is uh, 37, 38, 39. We're already on here right now so far. So Queese is about to roll up another one here because uh, it's always good to see what how other people roll and how, uh, you know, learn a few tips and tricks from them. Um, I uh, also sometimes give a few people a couple tips and tricks, but that's the segment. So I think Todd's finally got the cameras ready. Perfect. And uh, so, Queese, I guess the question that comes down to, man, I know, Josh, you can roll a joint as well, too, but I know Queese can roll a pretty proper one, man, as well. Um, if you feel like rolling as well, but I wrote this for Queese in the way of, all right, my man, I got to ask you, joints or blunts, typically, if you're a go-to kind of guy? Uh, doobies, 100%. Doobies, 100%. I'm not a huge tobacco fan. Right. I, I find that like a big problem over in Europe, you know, people roll tons of spliffs. So cool. I was like hanging out in Spain last year and like people would be like, here, have this doobie. And I would like take a puff off and be like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, you got to like, say oh, pure. Split. Yeah, you got yeah, to ask if it's pure, man. Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, I guess I asked the same question though, Josh. Do you, are you a, a joints or a blunts kind of guy? Yeah, I'm joints, man. It's just kind of always how right. it's been and it's kind of old school. Uh, and when it comes down to it, Queese, uh, do you like uh, grinders, scissors, bud busters, your fingers? I, mean, I love grinders. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, uh, that looks. That sounds like an aluminum four piece of some sorts over there. Is that a space case? Yeah, it's a space case. Yeah, you know we rock, we fuck with space case around here. I uh, I had one of these in high school actually, and like I fucking I had it all the way until probably a year and a half ago. Yeah. Well, I ended up losing it, and it was such a great grinder, you know, it's like lasted like seven years or something like that. And Old Faithful, the one that I use at home, mm -hmm. is 11 years old. Yeah, it's exactly. A, it's a titanium two piece. Yo, you still, seriously, you gotta zoom that out further, man. <coughs> That's weirding me out. <laughs> Back that up to the usual shot, to like here. Wow. Wow, it's killing me right now. It's too much me. Um, <coughs> <coughs> do you, uh, when it comes down to your grinders, do you, do you like aluminum, titanium? Do you like the? Uh, I, I had a titanium space case for the longest time. Like, They're pretty durable. From, like, yeah. Long ago, but um, yeah, I've just got this one now. Uh, that works. Not too man. big of a preference or anything. I Whatever converted my friend's need. two piece or four piece into a three piece just because mm -hmm. I don't. It's a lot of. I don't know. I don't find they catch that much to worth, and I'd rather have that in most of my joints if I'm being honest with you. For sure. I don't need it for later. Um, your choice of papers, typically, are you like a regular size? One I love quarter? smoking brand. And, uh, like, you I like, like the brand? one and a quarter deluxes. You like the one and a quarter deluxe smoking? Uh, so, like the smoking blacks? Yeah, AKA. exactly. Yeah. Those are your preference. Yeah, well, I have those reference. around. I don't know what you're rolling in right now. Um, I've got a smoking red right now. Oh, yeah. the thinnest. Oh, those are yeah. proper. We should move the pumpkin and the jar maybe out of the way so we can see your hands a little better. Okay. Um, maybe our hand, Todd, once he gets the camera done, will come flying in and shoot that. Yes, the smoking blacks. So the difference between the smoking black here and the smoking silver that I roll, same paper. It's just the smoking silvers that I have there uh, are instead of a 44 millimeter paper, these are 30, uh, are there a 37 millimeter paper. So just that little less, one quarter inch less kind of thing I find makes a little difference for those people who don't want the extra paper or don't need it. Um, <coughs> are filter or no filter kind of guy? I like filters. Filters? Yeah, I'm a filter fan. Filter? Sure. Um, and put them in before or after? I do after. Okay. Yeah. Um, and do you roll like a straight joint? Do you roll a cone? Uh, a little, kinda, bat? A little bit cone ish. A little clubby. Yeah. A little yeah, clubby. It just depends on um, like what weed it is, actually. If it's like a really nice sativa, then I'd really like to have like a, a nice cone. If it's a really, really dense and crazy indica, I usually roll them just like a cigarette. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, Josh, any preference on papers or? Yeah, like one and a quarters. One and a quarters. Yeah. Are, are you like? Do you like a hemp paper? Do you like? Do you with rice papers? What do you? What do you fuck with? Or? Yeah, rice is nice. Yeah, for rice sure. Is, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, and um, uh, also your uh, your choice. Are you a filter guy? No filter guy, typically. I, I thought I saw you roll one without one before. Yeah, I appreciate the filter. I usually just I usually just don't smoke them. Savage. You just don't put them on. But I, I sure like when uh, yeah. When somebody mm -hmm. has me, when they got a nice filter on it, man, it's nice. Uh, and then none of us are Cody Van Gogh, but you know, you're, 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 but you're still kind of an artist over there, uh, Quees. But do you do any novelty joints, or you know, have you tried? Or um, in high school, after you know, Pineapple Express mm -hmm. came out, everyone had to roll a cross joint. You know? <coughs> yeah. That's something that 
I used to do a lot, actually, a little party trick, just come up and be like, yo, guys, like, look, and people would be fucking blown away. But uh, that's a pretty, uh, it's kind of old school tech now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, yeah, like it's not the there, most rocket science of all. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I used to roll tulip joints when I wanted to hotbox the bathrooms in high school, but, uh, yeah, I pretty much just roll regular doobies now. <laughs> well, so 37 was when we started out with, and I rolled the next one, 38, and you, you already smoked one, so I was 39, so this is 40. Hey, that's not for the show. That's for the season thus far. Um, <laughs> whew. Um, and I guess, uh, where did you learn to roll? I mean, how, how and when did that happen? Um, I actually learned to roll like before I, I smoked weed. Um, I was like a straight edge kid when I was in grade nine. That's when I started, I think. Actually, grade eight. And then grade nine is when I started being like a heavy smoker. But there was this... Um, friend that I used to hang out with, his name was Shane, and he had a girlfriend named Zoe, and Zoe's mom grew. Okay. So she had, like, huge bags of shake in the basement, and, like, we would go down into the basement and grab one of those bags when the mom wasn't home and just pour it all over the kitchen table and find all the little nugs out of there, and then, like, I didn't smoke even then, but, like, I started, like, rolling for them because, like, I enjoyed it. Right, right. Yeah, so I learned, like, before I even smoked, actually, just because my good. friends like to smoke. Well, man, that looks like a pretty solid joint, man, over there. I can't lie. I look like I'll smoke that, man. Look, <coughs> not all weird shaped and shit like that, pretty consistently all the way through. Nice little filter on the end of it. Yeah, man, Quiz could roll. Quiz <laughs> could roll, no problem, man. I like that. Um, pass it over this way. Uh, well, you do that. We've all got joints. Fuck it. Uh, shit, I better put one out at some point here. Um, we got one, two, three three joints, but for Josh, I have one, two, three, four more questions for you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, two joints, learn to whirl, watching expert tips. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Remember, just the tip. <coughs> yeah, man, this is nice. What did you roll up? Uh, that's some 10 week um, sativa OG. Mm. Yeah, it's like the true LA OG. Mm. It's like um, half of Girl Scout cookies, which is like a pretty famous strain. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, huh. uh, it's a tasty, really nice man. one. Mm. I like it. You know I me, mean? I'm a heavy indica dude, typically when it comes down to it. This has indica effects. Like right. A lot of people like talk about indica and sativa like they're not the same plant. Well, I mean, I let's know. face it. Let's be real. We don't really need to spend the whole time on that because that's a whole other set of questions. But, you know, indica, the whole definition, naming, uh, nomenclature behind indica and sativa, it's all wrong in the first place. It's just <laughs> what people associate with the effects of at this point. But For sure. um, narrow leaf and broad leaf is a little bit more of a accurate sort of if you want to. But even that doesn't matter. Yeah, like I find <laughs> this is a very narrow leaf. Right. That this um, variety has, but it's got like some of the heavier stones. Like it's like such a like a ridiculously heavy body stone, you know, compared to. Al Ali Alchemist, and he's right. I've seen it. He's like, I smoke sativas and fucking want to go to sleep, and I smoke mm -hmm. indicas and go ride my bike around the world. You know what I mean? Like exactly. so. <laughs> um, but anyway, questions are for my friend Josh here during the favorite four. Everybody on the show gets asked the same questions, so. Uh, how and when did you even get into weed in the first place, man? Where did you smoke your first joint, or how? Did, what's the story of how did that come about? It was probably like summer grade seven. Yeah. Uh, it kind of we just part started partying, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then it kind of just it took off from there. And then uh, funny thing is, like my my business partner who I who I'm in business with now, uh, Travis. Uh, we met in high school and stayed friends forever, and then fired up the company and. Here we are today, right? Yeah. Uh, your preferred method of consumption, um, joints, bongs, dabs, edibles, topicals. What do you? What's your preferred way to consume? I like can... joints, man, oh. just because that's how it's always been. But edibles as well. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying these product by sec edibles. I tell you what, these strawberry feels, man, give me all the feels right now. <laughs> um, how much do you consume, by the way? Are you an everyday, all day, or a once in a while? A... Yeah, it's daily. Yeah, yeah it's my coffee. Mm -hmm. And if you look back at all of the cups of coffee you there ever had, all the bags of weed, all the shit that you've come across, there has to be one that stands out as the most memorable strain of all time and the best bag ever. And if you never saw it again, we call it the one that got away. So I'm curious, <laughs> what's yours? 
Uh, I'd have to say this strawberry cough. I found at the Emerald Cup one year. Yeah. Never sure. Haven't seen it again. Shouts to Tim and Taylor Blake and everybody behind the Emerald Cup going down for another year here, December 15th and 16th. Um, it's highly likely you'll see me down there again as well this year. I'm doing it as I chew on my gummies. Um, and I might even get a chance to help judge it potentially this year. I might go down a little early. We'll see how it all goes. But, um, man, I appreciate you sharing. I've also got a mouthful of shit here, man. So can you run me a break for a second, Andrew? I'll be right. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome everybody, I am Craig X. I will be your host slash annoying voice on the microphone for most of the day. So get ready to head out, put on your bug spray, get your joints rolled. Time to start the third annual Cannabis Growers of Canada 420 Cup in three, two. Oh, fantastic. Just fabulous. Scotty, what are you serving up here at the dab cart? Oh, we got all sorts of goodies. We got some diamonds. We got some caviar. We got some live res. We even got some really nice uh, skunk sauce. A whole whack of stuff here in the dab cart. One of the official dab carts down here at the 420 Cup. It's not dabs in here, is there? No, there's refreshments in there. Any dabs in this one? No, there's refreshments in there. I wonder if October 18th that she'll have a dab rig in there from the Cannabis Substitution Project. My man, Neil Magnuson, what's going on, brother? Twice a week we meet at Van Du down on the downtown east side. We give out care packs with four to six edibles and a couple of joints to, oh, 150 or so people that line up there to get them and uh, try to help people uh, offset the use of the street drugs and it helps with a variety of other medical issues, as you well know. Well, Kush Queen here. I'm in Squamish at the 420 Golf Tournament. And, uh, you know, Craig X is doing his thing. Always doing his thing. Four, 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 four. This is the three, four, four, 20 cup. And I can't wait to take you guys around and show you what's going on. How's it going? Getting yourself right here. I'm amazing. Yes. What's going on here? What are you, you guys golfing or what? No, we're no. just doing a syrup cart. Um, try one? I'll have a sip because I am driving around and doing stuff. Dose, then. We'll do a half dose. How's that? I'm getting served up by the Dr. Turpentine himself. Charlie, how do you feel about this new syrup cart? She likes it. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh, the cherry lime is so good. I love it. Mmm. It's always caribou country where we go, because the squad's in the place to be. What's going on, Dr. Turpenstein, Medium Chris? We're out here again on the official syrup cart. We had a dab cart last year, and that's pretty dope, but, but a syrup cart? I'd expect nothing less from the squad. What's going on, y'all? Not much, man, not much. We're serving up syrup in the cart all day. Gonna be driving around, cooler, cold drinks. Woo! What a beautiful place, man. Got to give credit and shouts out to the fine folks from the Squamish Valley Golf Club for having us back year on year on year this year. For the third time, we're back here again. This year, completely sold out. All the golf spots taken. Lots of vendors, lots of attendees. We got a sold out event. It's fantastic. Looking forward to it. Shouts to the Cannabis Growers of Canada for putting on another fine and faded fun times on the fairways. I Believe me, I think I see it. I think I see an oasis in the trees of green. The hosts with the most, a couple of the people behind the amazing team of organizers that helped put on this event is the one and only Tanya Jacket and her friend Chad. <laughs> My husband. 
<laughs> Sometimes we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> the award-winning master grower. I'll probably hand this guy six trophies before 2018 is over. My one and only Chad Jacket. What's going on, buddy? Having fun today? I am. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm high. I'm hanging out in the fucking park with some friends smoking weed. What do you want? Uh, you know, more dabs and a good time and you recognize that that's, that's my wife. <laughs> People consuming cannabis responsibly. We've got vendors all over the ground supporting craft cannabis, some of the finest producers there are. And we've got a dinner that's happening as well, too. And a little award ceremony. There's a band playing. What else more can you ask for other than maybe some blue sky, but at least it's dry. Yeah, exactly. I know what you can ask for. You can ask for the government to uh, lay off everybody and stop trying to monopolize the uh, industry and now just stop trying to confuse everybody by relabeling cannabis as non-medicinal recreational so that we can all use our medicinal herbs peacefully. I'm not going anywhere. I hope none of you guys are either. And uh, we really, really, really all need to come together. The Cannabis Growers of Canada is a wonderful vehicle for us all to come together to either lobby or use to, you know, challenge the federal government and also just to help one another, you know, in business and um, network and uh, help one another grow as business people. Hey guys, come to win my money. So tell me, Leslie, what are the rules to win $20,000? Well, you have one shot, no do-overs, and there are no mulligans. No! This must be where they recharge the cart. It's the Liberty Farms tent. Let's go get them while they still got some left. Okay, where's the Lindsay OG? Okay, that's all I need. We can leave now. Okay, thanks you guys. Appreciate you coming out. See you later. It was a good time. I'm gone. You guys forgot your clothes, but you got your weed, right? Yeah, yeah. There you go, see? You don't need to golf to enjoy a golf course when you got weed. It's just a big place to smoke weed. Here I am, jump up, and right there is, out of the weeds, uh, one of the sponsors here of the beautiful event we've got going on, Don and Carol from Weeds, right? It's a, it's a great time. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We're just having so much fun. What's going on, Big Doc? I'm just hanging out at the 420 Cup. How are you enjoying this event? Uh, I'm enjoying it well. You know, it's uh, the sky's as hazy as my eyes, so I'm, I'm happy with that, right? It's a smoky day. I've sponsored for three years. Uh, with you know, help Chad and all those guys do their thing out here. That's what... Skunk Funk, one of the sponsors of the event today. Shouts to Skunk Funk. Hey, check it out. The team from West Coast Smoke. What up, y'all? I know you guys got something to smoke for me, don't you? Oh, we got the executive just for you, Greg. I love it. Tell them what it is and what you guys are all about. Uh, so we do a CO2 distillate. Um, it's three times distilled. We use only organic terpenes derived from cannabis, all local to BC. It's the good stuff. Get to know it a little bit. That's strawberry cough. That's one of my favorites. Now that's service, man. Quality cannabis products from the fine folks at Top Leaf. Some stellar J's, some of that sweet Jesus. Definitely some of the highest quality products you're gonna get. What's going on, boss? Just smoking weed here at the golf course. Enjoying the day. My homegirl Dory, I found her, and you can find her at Finding Dory Dempster. You can also find her at the dispensary, you know, the medicinal cannabis dispensary on Thurlow, on Hastings, online. And 10 years that is now, coming up this October. One of the best in the biz, Dory Dempster. I'm Craig X. We're here at the 420 Cup. Of course, while the boys are out golfing out there, somebody's got to actually hold it down, make your, make some actual work happen. Yeah, I mean, you know, I do run the show anyway, so. She does. While she... the boss is at play, someone's got to work, so. Backcountry Labs, tell us about that product, too. Uh, Backcountry Labs is actually our sister company, so um, they produce all of our products, our flour, our extracts, um, pretty much from seed to soil to the end product. And with me from Products by Sec is the one and only Jessica. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Products from you guys, obviously, they tend to be of the the gummy variety yeah so we brought a whole bunch every actually every milligram we offer today from five milligrams up to 800 milligrams that's a lot of milligrams yeah that's a lot of milligrams well that's it another 420 cup is done over that's it 18th hole wrapping up 
another successful event here. Thanks to the Cannabis Growers of Canada for putting on such a well put together event and Cannabis Life Network for having me out here for the third annual 420 Cup at the Squamish Golf Club. Appreciate them. We appreciate you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again here next year to get lifted on the links, faded on the fairways, smoke some grass on the greens at the 420 Cup. Just a little flash, about to roll up some of the pink satellite there as well too. Boom, for now, but oh, where'd it go? Oh well, it's gone. Um, had it in the bud cam there for a second. Oh, there it went, here it goes, there it goes. Yeah, looking all right, this nugs a little bit. Worked on a little bit here, but I got some nice ones over here I'm about to roll up. Uh, of course, you know, uh, more information, I believe if you looked at the uh, weeds uh, weedsgg.ca website, you might find more information on products like these. If you went there, just saying. Uh, also, speaking of websites you could go visit, you should be regularly visiting expertjoints.com, like every day, all day. Well, not that's be a little much. I wouldn't expect that. But we have all the news stories coming out all day. I've got the killer RSS feed, banging out content every day, all day. So we're always on top of it over there with what's happening. Uh, links to all the different articles that's going on, Get the videos, the interviews, and all the all the shit we do is all over there. But I got the shop page too that you know not a lot of people use. But we know we sell a few things through there. It's cool. It's good to have. I like it. But I'm working on more products and more things. And like I was saying about um, uh, some ideas of some new products to put up there, and she was talking about these expert selections. So we're getting an Amanda's book up here pretty soon. But the first actual one on the site focuses around my favorite products, as far as rolling papers go. And you guys know that I use, anybody who watches knows that I use the Smoking Silvers was aka the Smoking Masters, right? These are the papers that I have long time used since I first saw them. Shit, a decade ago. Early 2000s, probably. And so people always ask me, why I smoke them? Why do I like them? La, la, la. Well, the reason behind it is, is for the biggest reason that I like these papers, I smoked the Smoking Blacks for a long time. And if you smoke a giant fat joint, it's very easy to, to uh, uh, fill a Smoking Black no problem. Remo smokes Smoking Blacks for a reason. Um, I still smoke a good sized joint, but I don't really like a joint much bigger than about a gram, if I'm honest. Not that I have a hate on it, but they just don't quite burn the same when they get larger. That, you know, they get hotter and they don't draw the same. But what I really don't like is a bunch of excess paper. And when I don't need a lot of extra room on them. I mean, these are, these papers in comparison to a Smoking Black. So taking a fresh pack of Blacks here. Right? Same paper, same thickness, same here as, as a fresh pack of the one and a quarters. So, same paper, right? Same paper, same look, same feel, same weight, same GSM, 13 GSM. Same length, no difference there. But what the difference is, is whoop, hey, fly away, run, you're free. Is the difference is the overall width of the paper. One is a, we can get that back on that camera, you should be able to see it. Yeah, if I hold it right, you can see the difference of how, yeah, one is shorter than the other. Well, the difference on that is about seven millimeters, almost a quarter of an inch, when I hold it at exactly where it's supposed to be. Um, this is a 37 millimeter versus a 44 millimeter paper. So when you see some people roll joints inside out, backwards, if you will, and then they like burn off the extra paper, or it's if some people sometimes tear a little bit off, it's typically because they don't want the excess paper. Now, when you have excess paper, it's not only like alters the flavor a little bit, but it can create an uneven area because there's an overlap of the paper and there's more of it to go. So sometimes you can get a little bit of runs down that, especially if there's a little bit of gap and a little bit of air behind it. So a lot of people mm -hmm. want to use as little bit of paper as they can. Hell, Cody Van Gogh has those nude blunts that don't even have papers on them, right? So, uh, and they taste different. They really do, then, then smoking that same flower in a paper, even a super light, high quality paper with like a really good gum. 
These have a really, really good um, Arabica gum on them. So when they like, it's all natural. When you burn it, it just basically melts down to like almost like a little bit of uh, sugar, if you would have. Like uh, really, really high quality paper. They burn super slow. They're very, very consistent. Um, a nice weight on them, 13 GSM. Uh, not the thinnest paper there is. That smoking red now is an absolutely super thin paper. I think it's seven or 10. No, I think it's 10. Uh, so they're getting right down here. And I think they've even got a newer one coming out that's even lighter. These are, I can't say they're necessarily tear prone, but they're very delicate paper. This still has the durability of a black that everybody loves that I think is probably one of the best papers in the, in, in the world. But this is just a slightly narrower profile. It leaves you a little less room to roll with, but if you're good enough, you don't really need it. Also, if you don't smoke giant joints, they're great because you got less paper. So I think they're all around the best paper on the market. They come available in the king size, the one and a quarter, the standard sort of regular size that we're all used to. They call it in the single and double wide pack. This is like, you know, the double tiered pack like we're all used to, like zigzags and those types of things. Um, 60 leaves in one of these, 120 in one of those. And then they also have in the one and a quarters, they have the flat packs that do uh, uh, 200 papers. So, and then, and then, and then, and then, they also have the rolls which is a four meter roll. So, you know, 13 feet or so change uh, roll, uh, 37 millimeters wide the whole way. And it just pulls out so you can make whatever legs you want. Uh, it's the narrowest roll on the market and they were the first King Slim on the market. Anyway, uh, I like them. They burn very consistently. These are the papers that I go to when I can go to. Uh, I've smoked nothing but smoking papers and this stuff since probably 99 when I first found a pair of Black of Blacks and then a few years later I switched to these when they came out and uh, uh, eventually went to them all but exclusively unless I've been you know out of town or something and couldn't get some but I try and travel with them now too. So anyway those are the papers that I use and people usually ask me how they get them and I say well you know check your head shop or oh, I've looked around they don't have them. So I've deferred to the guys over at roll.your.own a little bit and said ho shows to our homie Mark and you know they've, they've sent some people some stuff I've done some giveaways for some people as well too to try and just get them out there because I like them and I want people to be able to get access to them. Well, I figured even better. Now, at the expertjoints.com page over there on the shop site, you go over to the new category, expert selections, and now you can get boxes of king size, one and a quarters, uh, single wide regulars, double wide regulars, the boxes of the 200 flat packs and the rolls. You can get all six of those available at, um, uh, with flat, sh flat rate shipping, so even if you, it doesn't matter how many you order, I mean, unless you order like fucking crates full in your distributor, but um, cheaper than anywhere, you're going to get them anywhere. Like anywhere, you're going to get them anywhere. Um, they're like basically at wholesale prices. Uh, starting at like $30 US. So um, the, that's all in Canadian prices on the site or whatever. Uh, and then, yeah, flat rate shipping. Um, and so I just wanted them because I like them so much and I've used them so long and people don't know where to get them. Now you can get them through me. So if you want, exactly, plug, plug, plug. You know it, Wild Dragon. Um, the, the, uh, the fine folks over there have made that happen. So shout to Smoking and shout to anybody who wants them. Also, I'll personally make sure that, that anything that you buy, if you get them through this particular website and through the offering through the show here, you, um, you'll get something extra on top of any of your orders. We'll make sure they throw in some extra swag from the guys at Smoking just to make something a little bit uh, on top of that as well too. So if you want to order these, you get like literally 20, a box of 25, well, 24, or 25 or 50, depending on which, uh, or, or 40, I guess, <laughs> depending on what combinations there are. But all the information's on the site. I think it's like a box of 40, box of 25s, 25s. I think these comes in 24s, whatever. So it's like a whole box, like one of these for anywhere from, you know, I think these are $30, $33, and then 39 and then, anyway. Prices on the website, now available on the website, $15 flat shipping as well too. So um, I think it's a, it's a great deal. A lot of people ask them and want to know where they can get them. So now you get them through me, as I've said several times. So that's basically my selection. And the first one's gone up there. I want to have some more products come up available as well too through this, uh, this particular offer and through the show here as well. I, um, I think it's kind of cool, and it would be great if you guys supported me. You guys not only get like wholesale pricing on papers, but you buy like one order and you'll have a year's worth of papers probably. Yeah.
Um, anyway, so that's the first one, and that's expert selections, and that's real simple. But anyway, those are why I like them, and that's why I pick them, and so that's that. And that's basically that for the show as well, too, man. Uh, Josh, I appreciate you coming by here, man. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. I appreciate mm -hmm. you leaving the stuff for the uh, Puff Puff Pass It Along giveaway. Any plugs, shout-outs, things we missed? Oh, man, shout-out to all of our distributors, for sure, all the stores carrying our products, everybody, our whole social media fam, everyone on YouTube and Instagram, all the people that support us, man. Uh, we've just, yeah, man, so if we've had a lot of help along the way just from, you know, people supporting the brand and, and believing in, in uh, what we're putting out there. I, uh, I appreciate uh, you guys supporting us, and I'm glad we finally got a chance to be on here, man. Uh, well, from someone who likes smoking good weed over bad weed and hasn't smoked any of that weird weed that's out there now, um, I like the idea of products that are natural, products that don't actually like you know, leach into your plants, really, in a harmful way, and things that you can do to make your life easier and simpler all around. Uh, as well as also maximize your potential. Um, I also appreciate Queese for bringing the peace. <laughs> Doing it, man. Great little unit here. Uh, the electric blue bell... Blueberry. Blueberry, there you go. Um, doing it over here. If you want it, uh, it was 500 bucks was the sale price over here on Through the Show. Um, I think it's a good price. I think it's really cool. If you want it, get at me through Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or info at Expert Joints or just Expert Joints. You find me and we'll make sure that we get this to you. Uh, depending on where you live in the world, most likely even free shipping as well. Uh, I think that that is a great, uh, a great price and a great product. And we'll give another week or two on the show and then maybe we'll cycle something else through. But I think um, the three days of work on this really, really custom and really, really rare piece, I think that's money well spent. It's an investment. Um, shit, I got to also thank my man over there, Puffa, for bringing us our home, new homeboy, Scotty Jones. What's going on, gentlemen? Gentlemen, man. Gentlemen, thank you for having me, as always. I yeah, appreciate y'all bringing me through. Oh, dude, man. Well, make sure, of course, you know, you uh, watch the man, Big Puffa, there over on Tuesday. 4 p.m. Tuesday, every week, episode 36 coming at you. Right? Scotty, of course, you got the project coming out. We'll watch for the video and follow you on Instagram. Any plug shouts? Man, shout out to Get a Bag, Compound, A Raz. Shout out to Lord Jeezy bringing me through. Hey. Appreciate y'all bringing me through. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, shout out to my, my daughter. Hey. Big shout out to her. Hey, big shout out. Thanks for doing Bye it, man. It. I appreciate it. That track was dope. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Queen, yeah, of course, I give you the chance. Shouts, plugs, anything to... Um, shout outs to Formula BC, uh, Valley Stash, that's who's flower we're smoking on. Oh yeah, oh dude, they do, they do fucking good gear, man. For sure. That was a really nice joint that you rolled, I gotta, I gotta give you that. As I'm about to spark up 41 over here as well as we wrap things up. Um, man, uh, da, 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 what else? Plugs, Pot TV. So watch the rest of the shows, Jer's show usually is tomorrow. Uh, I'm sure they'll probably be out there doing it, talking about many things. Lots to talk about there. Cannabis Culture News at 4 o'clock, usually with Johnny B and Cookie and a crew. Um, also, High Noon with Lisa and Miles uh, on Saturdays at noon. The 420 Lifestyle with Carly Marley and BC Bug on Monday at 4. From Monday Influence with Greg Marijuana and Williams on Wednesdays, because we already know Puffa and Locker on Tuesdays. All of them doing it at 4. And of course, <coughs> tune in to Fridays at 2 on Fridays on SaveOnRadio.com. So you got to do it like the radio guy when you do it that. You know. uh, uh, and, uh, and behind the scenes over there on Twitter and Periscope, of course, you find the links for episode 17 on uh, expertjoints.com as well, too. DJ Slippy and I welcome Prada West to the show. Anybody who knows Prada, he was back here on episode season two or early season three or something like that. Uh, dude kills it, man. Uh, talented Vancouver MC. Uh, tattoos and gold teeth and scary looking dude, but he's... Just Fucking nicest guy, man, and great rapper. So he's doing things, making noise, and so he'll be uh, he'll be on the show with us, listening to some tracks of his and shit. Should be a good time. Uh, Chat go, goes over to the uh, uh, shout goes to the chat. Hey, big shout out. Hey, what's going on, Kevin Monaco? DMT somebody. Tig Tig got Tig whatever. Uh, Jerry, what's going on? What else have we got there? So many people over there in the chat. Alberto over on Facebook and stuff. Appreciate there. Jay, what's happening? Billy Lloyd. Issa Gold. <laughs> no, I just have ear problems. I have issues with my station tubes that no one can fix. Uh, that's what it is. Thanks for the ignorance. 
Um, don't ask the truth. Kerry Cush, Raymond Cowell, what's going on there? Shaggy420, 710 Canuck, all you guys over there on the Pot TV one. GML, thanks for hanging out. You do know that guy, man, and I know you. One of my next upcoming selections, I hopefully will involve GML, but we'll talk more about that later on another show. Uh, of course, Wild Dragon, longtime smoker, Dr. Cannabis, Two Joints, Eric Bryan, OG Brick 420, all you guys, longtime watchers, longtime followers, man, appreciate all you guys through here. Papa G Gross, did we figure out a name for the plant? I'll probably have to go through back in the chat and see if anything creative was, was come up with before. Otherwise, um, man, we'll obviously be back here for next week. Andrew, i got to thank you for all the effort, help with the show today. Young Todrick, thank you very much. You guys doing what you do? Next week, episode 150, the big show. So, what's the announcement? Next week, episode 150 on the show, the one and only, all the way from L.A., Instagrammer Koala Puffs here in Vancouver for the very, very first time in Canada, doing her thing, coming to do the show, sitting on the couch, man. And, of course, on top of that, after the show that we're going down, there's going to be the meet and greet, the Puffin' with Koala Puffs, brought to you by, uh, high, uh, brought to you by um, uh, The Collection uh, and Miss Envy. Uh, down there at High Score Lounge, Expert Joints, and Cannabis Life Network presents that Thursday, November 1st, 7 Thursday, next thir 7 30 next Thursday, man. 649 East Hastings. That's the place to be. Uh, the one and only Koala Puffs. That is going to be a hell of a show. That should be a lot of fun on that one. Uh, and then, of course, the meet and greet as well, too. Open to the public as well. Down there on, on High Score. That'll be fun. Uh, entertainment, mm, giveaways, samples, prizes, big old smoke sesh. She, she is funny, Raymond. You ain't lying. Uh, she's awesome, so I think that should be pretty funny. It should be a great episode next week and a great time. If you're in the Vancouver area, come join us. In the meantime, that is next week, and i got to wrap up this week. So, Andrew, if you are ready, please. We'll see you guys then. Hit the music! <laughs>